Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60, and I'm here today to do some reviews. A couple of the items were sent to me, and the rest I purchased, and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I am not married to any skincare product. If I'm married to any of it, it is Retin-A, but if it would start bothering me, I would quit that in a moment. I've been hearing a lot of really good things about dermatology, and they contacted me, and I knew I wanted to try just a few of their products. So they let me pick out what I wanted to try, and I want to talk about them today. This Right now I have on makeup, but this morning, right after I did my skincare, I used two of the items, and I've been trying these now for a couple of weeks. On this side, I use the Broad Spectrum SPF 45, and on this side, I use the Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. And I'm going to put a picture in and show you what my skin looked like with both of these on. I could not tell any difference. The Broad Spectrum 45 comes out white, but it just in a second, it goes clear. This comes out kind of like tan, but if you look at the picture, you can't tell any difference on either one of them. I didn't have a just a basic sunscreen because today I have on my Hard Candy Glamouflage and there's no sunscreen in it. So I was really looking for a good sunscreen to wear under different kinds of, of foundation that I have. And I tell you what, I was really, I've been really pleased with both of them. I was hoping the tinted moisturizer would give me more coverage, but I, you know me, I want, I, want, <laughs> I want it to do it all. I want whatever I have to do everything. I'm going to link these below so you can look and see if you're sensitive to any of the ingredients. N normally, after I've used something for three days is when I can look and see and, and inspect and see if I'm going to get any milia. I used, what I did was I used half on one side of my face for about a week with the other at the same time. Then I tried them all over my face and these really are good products. The Tinted Moisturizer is 1.7 ounces and it sells, I think, for $21. And I'm going to compare it to what I've used, and I continue to use this. This is the Anti-Aging Armor. It's a 50 SPF, and I don't see much difference between a 46 and a 50, so that wouldn't sway me one way or the other. But this is one ounce, I think, for $38. This does provide some coverage. So if I wear this, I don't put any foundation on afterwards. But I really do think this is a good deal and a good product. The Broad Spectrum SPF has two fluid ounces and I'm going to put the, I think, I think the price is $21 also. So I was pleased with both of these and I can see myself repurchasing them when I, when I need some. The other product I wanted to try from Dermatology is the Essential 11 Hydrating Cleanser. Well, first of all, I need to let you know how I cleanse my face. I only use cleanser on my face at night. And what my normal protocol is, I have a couple of ways to do it. When I go into my bathroom, I will get my face wet. And I'll either use one of my makeup removers to take my makeup off, or sometimes I just put, I use the Purity Made Simple. This is eight ounces. And I put a small amount in my hand. And on my wet face, I put it on my eyelashes and then I dab the rest on my face. I rub it in and I always let mine set for a few minutes. I might uh, load up my toothbrush. I might do a couple of things, but I walk around and I kind of let it do its thing. And then I rinse it all off and that's all I do to cleanse my face. I know my face is clean and is ready for skincare. Long before I started my channel, I was using the Purity Made Simple and I have tried quite a few other brands. I know I've purchased four other types of cleansers and they just didn't leave my skin feeling the way I wanted it to feel. So I did the same thing with the Dermatology Essential 11 Hydrating Cleanser. The first night I just, you know, splashed water on my face. I put one pump in my hand. You know, I did the same. I put it on my eyes. I rubbed it in. I let it kind of set for a few minutes and then I rinsed it off my face. My skin felt really good and my eyes didn't burn. My eyes don't burn with the Purity Made Simple. The next night, I think I got too much uh, in my eyes because they did burn. This is 7.1 ounces 
This is eight ounces of product. The Dermatology is $26 and this is $24. I consider that very close in price and I can see myself purchasing this again if I ever run out of the Purity Made Simple. But you know me, I always stock up and I have backups, so it may be a while before I purchase this. But I like the way my skin felt after I used it. I don't know if I'll have a discount code. If I do, I'll enter it up here. But like most companies, if you go to their website and you sign up for emails, they'll let you know when there's a sale. And but there have been so many sales from companies that never have sales. So if you're interested, I would sign up for their email. And like I said, I'll let you know if I have a code below. But I was very pleased with these products and I would repurchase any of them. The next item that was sent to me is from the company Irresistible Me. And it's the Black Diamond Professional Hair Dryer. And again, the way I can review this is comparing it with what I have. What I have right now, and I've had for five years, is a Nano Titanium Blow Dryer by Babilis, and I'm not positive that's how you pronounce it. So if I'm pronouncing it wrong, let me know. And this is my new one from Irresistible Me. They are identical in all the specifications, with the exception of this has 2,000 watts, this is 1875 watts. This comes with one of the like directors that you put on the end. This comes with two. They both weigh exactly 14 ounces. This one, of course, is a little bit more compact. You can easily clean the back of this one. On this one, you have to remove this to get to it. But my old one, I think, is $85, and this is on sale for $59. They both have six settings and they're the kind that, and they're right over here and you don't mess with them. You know, like when you're blowing your hair dry and you hit them. By the way, I hold this, I never hit them. And this has a cool shot right here. This one has the same settings. There's six different settings and it has a cool shot. So they are both great. If, if this is still $59, this would be my choice. They both have the negative ions that smooth your hair. I think what they do is they it seals the cuticles of your hair. They're both really good blow dryers and I could recommend this. I think most of the ones on the market are 1200 watt or 1500 watt and these this definitely blows my hair quickly and is very comfortable to use. Irresistible Me is the company that sent me the extensions that I haven't been able to wear because I haven't really gone anywhere. I'll put a link to a video up here and down below if you want to see my hair extensions because I really was impressed with them. And I wanted to get back to you on a product that I've already reviewed, but I said I would, the more I used it, I would let you know what I thought. And this was sent to me by, from the company ColorWow, and it's a mystical sh shine spray. I'll tell you something I don't like about it. I had to put tape around the end of it right here because the silver kept coming off, but I, that, that, you know, that is annoying to me. When the silver gets in your fingertips and you don't see it and you put your hand on your face, um, I didn't like that, but I will tell you this work does exactly what it says it will do. It is lightweight, it is non-greasy, and it does make your hair shine. Like today I didn't use it because I used that curling thing yesterday, and it shows up a lot better when your hair is smooth. In fact, I used it in some of my videos, and I got a lot of compliments for having shiny hair, but it will last two days. See, I, I wash my hair one day, let two days go by and then wash it again and by the third day the shine isn't there. I didn't spray it on my roots. I just sprayed it on the sides and, and I was really pleased with it but it's $29 so and for me that's a little bit high. I don't know that I would repurchase it but it does do what it says it's going to do. So now I want to talk about the items that I purchased. I'm signed up I'm signed up for emails from any company that I'm the least bit interested in because if they have a sale, that's when I'm tempted to buy something. Well, I've wanted to try Thrive Mascara for a long time and they had a free shipping and handling and I bought some Thrive Mascara. You know, I only buy cruelty-free makeup and Thrive is vegan and cruelty-free. And they really have a, a nice mission and they give to other women and other causes. For me to get this home, this is I think $24 and there was a $1.50 tax on it. And I can't tell you anything bad about this product. 
it is, I think it's excellent. Do I like it more than my superhero? No, but it, but it does a trick. And I'll put a photo in here and I'll ask you which side you think. And I have superhero on one eye and thrive on the other. And I'll write that in on the photo. But I want to show you the wand. It is a tubing mascara. I've had one other tubing mascara that I know of. You put it on your eyelashes and it forms little tubes. And when you take off your, your mascara at night, all you need to do is get a warm washcloth and hold it on your eyes. And these little things just fall from your lashes. It, 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 it's, it's really cool. If you have trouble with your mascara staying on, I, I think this would be a really good one for this summer. I don't ever put anything on my eyelashes. When I do my skincare, I don't put anything on my eyelashes. And when I start putting on makeup, I don't pounce anything on it. I want clean, dry mascara. And that's why I know I don't have any trouble with my superhero. This is $25.50. I will use this. I will enjoy it. But I think I'm going to stick with my favorite until something else comes along because I just ordered quite a few of them at a special price. And I think they'll be end up being like $10 a piece. So I'm excited about that. Many times when you all make suggestions to me, I type it into an area on my computer on suggestions. Well, a couple of years ago, someone with the name Mary Ellen uh, suggested that I try a new brand of lipsticks and I did break my lipstick, no buy, and I'm fine with that. The last time I purchased any lip products was January 1st, so I'm fine. And I was really wanting to try this company and it's called Color the World. It's cruelty free vegan. They hand pour each tube and the tubes come in cardboard and, and I'll show you what they look like. These were both on sale. I got both of these to my home I think for less than $28. Normally they're $21 a piece. The reason I wanted to order from Color the World is they really have a good mission also. They help numerous charities. This one's called Pretty in Pink, and this is to help people with brain injuries. Uh, they, they make a donation to the cause, and this is empowered, and this they'll donate for people that are suffering from depression and anxiety. I'll type the name of the website above, so you all, if you wanna go look, and I think it's 10% of their profits they donate to all different kinds of charities. I'm gonna put a photo in of me with Pretty in Pink on, and that's what I'm wearing today. This is what I had on this morning. I didn't have on any makeup in this picture, and I think that's a really good way to tell if it's a good color for you. And this that this one is Pretty in Pink. The next one is Empowered. And the last photo is Empowered with some Pretty in Pink. So I've got to tell you what I want for a lipstick. The last thing I do before I go into my dressing room to put on makeup is I take a washcloth and I clean my lips off. I want my lips to be dry. I don't want to put on anything over it. I don't want to put on a balm. And I want to be able to put on lipstick that does not bleed, that feels good on my lips, and that stays for a decent amount of time. I'm not as, I mean, it's not that important to me, the longevity of something, but what's important to me is how it feels on my lips and that it doesn't bleed. Every lipstick I've ever mentioned on my channel doesn't bleed or I wouldn't have it. I would pass it on very quickly if it bled. Well, I think these make your lips look really nice. I think it makes your lips look smooth. They have a good staying power, but for me, they're just not quite as comfortable as what I'm used to. They're not as comfortable as Milani um, and Milani's cruelty free. I haven't, of course, I haven't tried the L'Oreal Color Riche. I've heard fabulous things about those, but it's not cruelty free. So I'm comparing this to Milani, and as far as how it performs, I do like my Milani best. Will I purchase more of these? I might. I like them, and I love their mission. But I just kind of have to tell you exactly how I feel. But everybody's different. There's some people that put balm on their lips. And I may try that to see if they feel any better, but they kind of make my lips feel a little dry. And I've been testing these for two weeks. I have a really good feel of these lipsticks. So that's it for me and my reviews today. I want to announce the winner of last week's giveaway. 
In the giveaway, there's the ColourPop eyeshadow palette in Going Coconuts, the Laura Geller eyeshadow quad with the blush and highlighter, the It Cosmetics Lip Treatment Trio, the set of Eco Tools Daily Define Brushes, and two fabric masks. I had a lot of questions about the mask. I'm going to leave Carol from the channel, Oh Carol's, I'm going to leave her link below and also her email. And I launder them either by hand or I launder them in, or I put them in a mesh bag and wash them, but I just hang them to dry. I had a lot of questions about that. And the lucky winner is Judy Pollock. Congratulations, Judy. Make sure you leave a comment below so I can let you know how to get in touch with me. I want to congratulate the winner. Make sure you leave a comment below and I will let you know how to contact me. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. It is all good. I have to say it is all good. I have to believe it is all good. Thank you for watching, for supporting my channel. I appreciate you. Absolutely. I mean, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that you come and you watch my videos and you leave a comment. It means the world to me. So I will see you in my next video and please take care. Well, I've been hearing a lot about This can't, I, let me see, did the same with my eyes, but I can tell, and I'll put a video, I'll put a, I'll put a video why I wanted to, why, I, the reason I wanted to order from Color My World, really good one.